And so I just got done uh, public, well, finishing up the final touches of my book, my second book, which I'm e-publishing on my own or publishing via Kindle on my own. Uh, I want to see how it works. And it's actually not that difficult. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a tutorial on actually how to publish it with Kindle uh, here shortly. I, I just want to finish this up first because uh, I'm not there yet. I'm getting there. But anyway, what I had an issue with was the table of contents. It wouldn't show up in the Kindle. And now, so let me show you what I'm talking about. It's pretty interesting. Here, and this is my book. Um, uh, you see uh, the Kindle. What's the uh, the viewer? The Kindle viewer. So there's a, the thing I created. The easiest pie on Canva. Canva's just freaking awesome. All that's free. T took 20 minutes. Uh, there's a, I don't know why that's not centered, but that's not my big concern. Right here was my big concern was there would be sh so a table of contents, but nothing was showing up. And I was like, why is that? And I looked, I don't know, probably 20 to 30 minutes for various guys' videos and ladies, and I couldn't find any reason why this wasn't showing up. And I was like, anyway, so I came across one video and the guy kind of alluded to it, but I still had to kind of hunt and peck and figure it out myself, but I was able to figure it out. And so what, what happens is when you go to your table of contents, Google, am I sure? Yeah, okay, so this is my Google Docs. I'm not using Mac, I'm not using PC, I'm using Chromebook. It's just easy, I love Chromebook, it's so simple. Um, so what you do is you go to your table of contents and you go to insert, come down here, table of contents. And it's gonna give you two options. All right, one is for page numbers. And that's what you want for your paperback or your hard copy, you know, your, your book like this, a book. You want that for your hard copy. And here's my table of contents for my, uh, my strategic money planning uh, book. And as you can see, it's got page numbers and all that. I don't know if you can really see that that well. And that's good. So see how you got table of contents there with the page numbers. And that, that's good for a book, but that's not good for Kindle because you don't know what the pages are going to look like on Kindle. Now, the problem with this is that you'll see in here, and I hopefully you can see, see this little line. It's a table. And because of that table, for some reason, Kindle doesn't pick up anything that's in this table. Nothing. And so what you have to do is just simple. You got to copy and paste it. And so you just, I mean, you literally just copy and paste the whole thing. And just, well, you copy it from that table, and then you paste it, and that's it. And that's all you do. And then it shows up. It's crazy. I, and again, I don't know why this isn't, you know, my table, my uh, title isn't showing up um, centered on Kindle. I don't know. I'm not sure how to fix that. That, from, let's see, that should be centered. Um, let's see. Yeah, it is centered. So I don't know. I, I'm not all that worried about that. I was big time worried about the lack of a table of contents, though. So there you go. So you just copy and paste this table right here, and then you delete it. So I'm just going to go back, crack out, because that's what I did before. And that's it. And then you go back to your Kindle and you upload it again. And let's come on, man. And so I go back to Kindle. Yeah, there you go. And what you'll see here is you got um, the links in there that will take you to the page. So here's my Kindle with that table content. And all link, which is exactly what you want. So you click on crack out and it'll take you right there. So it's awesome. Look at that. It's just fantastic. I love it. Easy, man. I tell you, it's easy. A couple of things when I'm, and again, I haven't, hit the final publish yet on this guy because I'm going through it. Um, and, you know, I just, I like it. I just, I'm a big fan of it. Actually, it's freaking easy once you figure it out. And once you figure it out and you like to write, man, you're going to get addicted to this stuff. Um, only thing I'd want to say is make sure you have uh, page breaks. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. I, I'll do a whole nother tutorial on this whole thing because it's actually pretty important. Uh, for every uh, chapter, uh, make sure you have a page break. And so you want to hit control enter to get a page break. So I basically what I did is I went right, see how I was blinking right there, the cursor, hit control enter, and that will give you a page break. And that way Kindle recognizes the page break. And, and that's what you want for sure for each of your chapters. In fact, I got a lot of tables in this book. So not only do I have page breaks for a lot of my chapters, but I have page breaks for a lot of my tables as well, as you can see here. Um, see, that's a page break right there. I had a page break after this. So this next, the the, the table wouldn't bleed over to another one. It's uh, it's just fantastic. It's it's just awesome. So I'll show you just real quick what I'm mapping here. And again, it's all Google Docs. You don't need Microsoft Word. You don't need whatever Mac.
contact is just Google Docs. And once you figure it out, it's easy. So basically um, what you did, and this is, it says load with JPEG or TIF only. Well, this is a PNG and it's still loaded fine. So I'm not sure about that, but it uh, worked great. So anyway, so you just come down here. I didn't do digital rights management. I, if you're because I'm going to basically be in control of selling the book. I'll probably just give it away to everybody. I, I don't know. I'm not all that familiar with that. You can look at that uh, manuscript. It's just literally what I did here in Google Docs um, and just uploaded it. And you want to save it as an EPUB, by the way. Don't save it as PDF. You want to save it as an EPUB. Download as an EPUB. And it's it's just gold. I, I freaking love it, man. Um, it's just fantastic. And then you spell, you got your spell check thing on there. You upload your cover and mine's a PNG, which is a transparent cover and it still took it. You know, I could easily say it as a JPEG if you needed to uh, upload my manuscript. And then you got your launch previewer, which is what this guy um, is right here. You can preview it on your Kindle device. I haven't figured out how to do that yet because for some reason it's not clicking on my uh, my email. I don't know why, but I, at this stage, I don't care. Um, you can put an ISBN number in. You don't need an ISBN number in an ebook though, so I don't even bother. When I do print this off, and I'll use KDP. No, no, uh, it was a Create Space, and I tell you, Create Space, oh, for the love of Mary. But I just I, I hate them because what they screwed up this book right here royally but it's just it's so easy so i'm gonna do it again and hopefully don't screw it up uh, maybe the second time's a charm hopefully not the third time and then you're ready to go and then the pricing is whatever you want to do so anyway all right so what am i saying here at the end of the day you want to use google docs if you're using google docs to publish a ebook on kindle is easy as pie the table of contents cannot be in that table the table of contents has to be uh, just cut and paste whatever the table of contents is, uh, cut it, and get rid of the table and paste it in just what you have to do. You can't have, you don't want that table. Remember I showed you there's a table in here. You don't want that. And as you can see here, I'm clicking here, there's no table. You do not want a table uh, for your Kindle because it'll, it, it won't show up. You'll see the table of contents right here, but then this will all be blank and you can't have that. Just while I'm yapping again, I keep saying that, just while I'm yapping, if you want to insert a table of contents um, for your hard copy book, and again, hard copy, soft, you know, that could be soft uh, paperback or hard copy table of contents um, right here. And then that will give you the page numbers. And that's what you want. I'll show you. That's what you want for your soft, your paperback or hard copy. That'll give you your page numbers because the page numbers you want to be able to say, hey, I'm flipping through this. I need to go to page 63 to read the book about how, you know, the the Boston Bruins are the best team or whatever. So this will be, okay, so that, see how you got the page numbers there? You don't want that for Kindle, but you do want it for, if you're going to do a hard copy book. And see, that's a table I was talking about. I know this is redundant here, but that's that table. Yeah, I don't know, hopefully y'all can see that. You can't have that in the Kindle because the Kindle will not pick up anything that's in there. So you just got to get rid of that. All right, my friends, hope this helps. This is, uh, again, Kindle. I love it. I, it's just, it's freaking awesome. I think they have a 20-page minimum um, for writing a book, but there's absolutely no reason. If you have something to say, you shouldn't be using Kindle. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. You can do it all in Chromebook, Canva. All the stuff I did on this title was free, um, except for... Let's see here if I can show it to you. Except for I had a, I paid for these two things. It cost me a buck for that uh, dollar sign in a circle and a buck for that, uh, you know, ticking time bomb thing or whatever. It cost me a buck. So it cost me two bucks. Two bucks. That's crazy. It's just, it's flipping awesome. So hope this helps. Google Docs, how to, <laughs> your cable of contents. Now you know. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.